Oh, lovely throw there. Bison hasn't got a hope. Oh, wonderful victory there for Ken. A very surprising turnaround for that battle, but... And apparently we have... The competition has been discarded, and... We're now engaged in an orgy of fun and in festivities as they have been thrown out. And anyway, um... Hopefully the competition may start at a later date. So for the rest of this... For the rest of this segment on channel fuck if I know what, channel 5, I just been told by Tony, we're going to introduce to you a load of shit and crap and just toy wasting toy stuff, and maybe a couple of reruns of I Love Lucy to top it off, and back to you Tony. Yes, those reruns will be wonderful, and um, of course we'll probably bring you other sports, you know, dinosaur hunting perhaps, or um, <laughs> some other things. And of course, um, but we'll be bringing you a bit more of these friendly matches from Street Fighter 2. <laughs> yes, and hijinks galore in the commentary box here. As you can all see. Yes, here they go. Ooh, nice, nice Sonic there. Flash kicks, yes, wonderful. Of course, they're fighting in Shanghai, home of Chung Lee, and I bet you that all the fighters are probably staying with her at the moment, you know. Not, the, not to imply anything suspicious, but, um... Well, they will be, anyway. Oh, James just told me that, um, Chung Lee was selling for $10 a night. It's not too bad, and, um... I may have to have a little go myself later on, as James obviously did last night. And of course, Don, well, he's got a big grin on his face too. Yes, and of course, Marcus Winston, well, he's obviously pretty impressed too. Yes, and oh, yes. Oh. Saget's almost won the bout, or can Guile get it? Saget wins, in a very close decision. Yes, and um... Quick lapse in commentary there, um... The microphone came out of its socket. And Joe the Warrior got wasn't all pleased. Had to run from downstairs up here and plug it back in again for me. Because I, I can't do things like that because of union problems. And if I was to do that, um, well, Joe might get a little upset. Looks like Giles won this. Yes. You know, and I crossed to James. And yes, we lost control once again, as I was too far back from the control machines at up here in the commentary, which are apparently linked to the satellite hanging above us. And, and yes, Tony has relieved us as he is going down to witness by himself the actual fighting sequences of In Street Fighter 2. Now, I believe he has laid a 10,000 dollar bet on Ken, crossing over to Tony. Yes, um, I'm down here in the bookmakers area, and um, of course, Lax Vegas, famous for the fighting and the betting of all sorts. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> and yes, and it looks like, oh, oh yeah, yes, and, and Tony's got a lot resting on this. I believe he bet the whole Channel 5 network on this, so it better win, or we might just have to go off the air all of a sudden. And it's a very good thing, too. Oh, oh, yes, yes. And Ken has won that bout. And what can be said at the moment? Yes, yes, and I believe that Stephen Hawking has now come to a conclusion that Pi has no ending. After about 17 trillion decimal points, he has decided that it is no point going on and waste his life. So now he's going to concentrate on his theories of 
I don't know what it is, but I can't even pronounce it, so we'll just leave it at that. And he's leaving right now, and he shall be communicating with us at a later date in our science special on Saturday night, 7 o'clock, every second Tuesday. No, <laughs> how can it be on every second Tuesday when I just said it was on Saturday? But hey, <coughs> and, and yes, we have a motley of singers with us, and... One or two strippers, I believe, Tony had hired for later entertainers. And yes, the I have been requested to announce the notorious Dennis Sokolai shall be playing in part of Ken. And Richard Ogden happens to be playing in the part of Guile. Yes, this is a motley event where these two people dressed up like the actual characters and engage in fighting. Just like over in Italy with the Il Calavale when they dress up as lively little characters and do whatever Italians do best. And back to Tony Chapman. Yes, and I've um, just tripled the value of Channel 5. Absorbed a couple of neighbouring stations with that bet and I'm quite pleased. It, oh, I also picked up a radio station and I'm um, pretty pleased about that. The radio station will probably be bringing be bringing you the cricket later on in the uh, year, I think. And, um, well, as you can see, this notorious battle is certainly notorious in the fact that it happens, oh, well, once every day sometimes. I mean, on average, it's happened about once a day, and um, it's a wonderful battle. As it always produces close results, such as double KOs. Yes, and um, that's a wonderful result. As you can see in the background, all all of Russia's deposed leaders, um, Mikhail Gorbachev, some bitch thumping her chest. Oh, she's got a wonderful pair of knockers too. They're a little bit saggy, but well, who cares? It's St. James Sabbath back here, and I'm sitting in front of the sweet, the mixing board on Channel 5 Sound, and I've been getting some really interesting effects, which I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate to you as soon as the next bout starts. And now the notorious battle has just ended. And here are a few experiments with the soundboard. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We have no sound at the moment, so, oh yes we do. And here we go. Isn't it amazing what modern technology can do, such effects like that? And here is Don Watts. Thank you, James. I've been down swimming in the beach because Chung Lee was there. Oh, hang on, that was not nice. Oh, yes, and here they are. <laughs> no, yes, and that was Matthew Erickson. He's, he's sad that his mum is not here. Oh, and Chung Lee gives a hard thud to Ken. Ken and Chung Lee were pretty close once, uh, probably last night actually, but yeah. Oh, fireball, a oh, good fireball there by Chung Lee, she's developed that. Ken and Roy, you have been teaching her that very closely, I believe. And um, someone's going to come here and commentate, Marcus Winston from Hungary is here. He's our favourite from way back, and oh, you can commentate, Joe. Marcus. Come here, Marcus. Come here! And David Shortbush is over there checking up on the latest soccer results from home and abroad. And what have you got uh, for us? <laughs> the season's about three weeks through. There's a hot tip. I think, yeah... Ha ha, cheat on what you can do.